Now to Douglas County, where we are covering the big issue of school funding. People pushing for improvements got a partial victory. Voters approved one funding measure but rejected another. Douglas County is one of the wealthiest counties in America, but the school district is struggling to handle the growth and the need for new schools and improvements. The election results aren't official yet, but a measure that will increase pay for teachers and staff is passing, while a separate measure that would fund new schools and improvements at others is failing. Olivia Young is your reporter in Douglas County and a former Dugco student. And Olivia, Dugco will now be able to compete with other districts when it comes to teacher pay. That's a huge win for the district. However, district leaders say there is still a need for new schools. Michael, the district's current mill levy is about $2,000 lower in funding per student than neighboring districts. Now, with the passage of 5A, that funding will increase by about $1,000 per student, so getting closer to their neighbors. 5B, however, did not pass, so the district will have to wait on those capital investments they had planned. You know, the dreams that we had of our kids biking to school and walking to school with their friends, like, is kind of on pause right now. Linnea Dotseth is a mom to four kids under six in Sterling Ranch, one of the neighborhoods DCSD calls a school desert. Right now, kids go everywhere. Some go to Roxboro, some go to Cowdy Creek, and so... We're, we're a neighborhood and we want that community feel and I think that a school is essential in making that happen. Dotseth hoped to see ballot measure 5B pass. The $484 million bond aimed to create schools in Sterling Ranch, the Canyons and Crystal Valley. We are hoping to build three elementary schools, expand two middle schools in order to accommodate the enormous housing growth that we are seeing here in Douglas County. Voters, however, said no to the measure on Tuesday, but said yes to 5A, a $66 million mill levy override. Our staff are just over the moon, I, over the moon. They're just happy and clapping and celebratory because so many of them were faced with a really difficult decision about if they could stay in our district next year or not based on their compensation. The funding means the district will now pay staff 9% more. A big step towards solving shortages in teachers and bus drivers. It should make a big difference in terms of the number of applications that we're able to get um, and our ability to start filling our open positions. But without 5B, only urgent capital projects will go forward and new schools are off the table. Now, the superintendent said getting 5A passed in a year when property values went up so much was an uphill battle. Now, Douglas County homeowners can expect to see an increase in their property taxes by $13 a year per 100000 in assessed property value because of this mill levy. In Douglas County, I'm Olivia Young, covering Colorado First.